Hello everyone and welcome to my first how-to video in six years. Some people may be asking themselves why the heck is Dazza uploading a tutorial video for New Leaf? This game is so old now and Animal Crossing Switch is almost out. Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> well, not everyone will immediately jump on the Switch bandwagon. Some will still play New Leaf, but more importantly, I think I've got a how-to video worth showing you guys, because I'm going to share with you the mystery of tree and, more importantly, bush growth rules in Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, if you've ever had that perfect place for a shrub to grow but it keeps on dying, watch on and I'll explain why it's dying and how you can get it to grow. Before we get started, I want to preemptively try and predict some comments that Omi gets in the comment section uh, with a few notes here. So first things first, assume that throughout this video that I'm including bamboo whenever I mention trees. The rules for bamboo growth are identical to trees. Also, see the saplings will die if you plant them in the southern half of your town. Some people might not know that. If you're following this guide, then note that tree stumps count as a tree as well, and once a tree or bush sapling has grown a stage after the day you've planted it, it cannot die. Another quick mention is that there are rumoured dead spots in town, where a bush or tree will never grow. This is completely false, there are permanent patches of dirt where grass will never grow, but as long as you follow these six simple rules, a bush or a tree can grow anywhere in town. So let's start with the three basics. Rule number one, trees and bushes will never grow directly next to buildings, public works projects, cliffs, or water. Rule number two, in addition to this, trees cannot grow directly next to other trees, whereas bushes can. Rule number three, no more than 12 bushes and trees can touch in an unbroken line, including diagonally. Any sapling planted that will result in the chain becoming 13 plants or longer will die. So those are the three basic rules, and if you follow these, then 95% of the saplings that you plant will grow. However, there are an additional three what I like to call area rules that apply, and if you find you have a dead sapling, then you've broken one of these. Rule number four. A bush will not grow if, in a 7x7 seven seven square area, there are already 15 trees and or bushes. Rule number five. A maximum of eight trees will grow within a 7x7 seven seven square area. Rule number six, finally, a tree will not grow if, in a 5x5 five five square area, there are already at least 12 bushes. So, those are the rules. There's a reason why I put them in that order, which I'll get to momentarily, but like I said, a bush or tree will grow as long as it satisfies those six criteria. If you find a dead sapling the day after you plant it, then go through the list one by one and see which rule you've broken, and then find out how to work around it. So for that, here's a couple of examples for you. The 12 in a line rule is the most difficult to get around. In fact, it's impossible to work around it legitimately. So try and find a creative way to break up your hedgerows to keep them less than 13 long. One of my favorite tricks is on a vertical part, I will plant a tree and then plant a flower behind it before continuing on with the row, as flowers don't count towards the bush and tree limitations. This does a pretty good job of hiding the break in the line and can work as a sneaky shortcut too. Horizontal sections are a little more tricky. You can't exactly hide a break in a horizontal row, but you can try to make it look pretty. Try leaving a gap between the chains for a tree or a public works project to sit in and dress it up with some flowers either side. Here's a more difficult example of a tricky sapling that just wouldn't grow and how I got around it. The hibiscus sapling that I planted right in the middle of this section died. So let's go through the rules and see which one I've broken. For starters, rule one into a fine. It's not directly next to anything that can prevent growth. Next, there is a break in the line directly behind this lemon tree. So the chain of plants would only add up to seven. So rule three is also fine. So it comes down to one of the area rules. And since it's a bush we're having issues with, we can ignore rules five and six because they only pertain to trees. Rule four must be the issue. If we take a look at this diagram, then we can work out the problem a little easier. So rule four says that if there are already 15 trees and or bushes in a seven by seven area, another bush will not grow there. And if we draw a seven by seven square around the problem sapling, we can see that there are actually currently 17 other bushes and trees. So do we just accept this and not put a bush there? No, <laughs> we find a way around it. So here's what I did. There are exactly three lemon trees within this area and the growth rules for the trees are a little more relaxed than bushes. 
So I cut the trees down, bring the total to 14 plants within the 7x7 area. Remember, flowers don't count. Meaning that the bush would grow. And it did. But I miss those lemon trees. It adds height variety and makes things look interesting. If we replant the lemon trees, they should all grow because they're not breaking rules 5 and 6. Rule 4 doesn't apply to trees, so the fact that these trees would bring the total back up to a whopping 18 plants isn't an issue unless we want to plant another bush here. So that is why I ordered those area rules in the way I did. Generally, they won't be an issue unless you're planting a lot of trees and bushes in a concentrated area. But usually, you're better off planting all of your bushes first and then all of your trees. So to summarize why you might be getting dead saplings. Make sure that they're not directly next to buildings, etc. There's not more than 12 in an unbroken line, and there's not too many bushes or trees in a small area. If you have a lot to plant, try planting the bushes first and then the trees. If you're still getting a dead sapling, troubleshoot using the rules I provided to find a reason why. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this helped clear up some issues you might be having. If you have any questions, then of course feel free to pop them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. Of course, when Animal Crossing Switch finally rolls around, you can be sure that you can find a whole bunch of videos and how-tos on my channel. So I hope you look forward to that as much as I do. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.